Advanced Greek Searches. This podcast requires a working knowledge of both Greek and Accordance Bible software. Today's podcast covers advanced techniques for searching Greek texts and tools. These include searching for Greek tags and phrases, amplifying to Greek tools, and Greek searches that use Accordance's research feature. Be sure to watch the previous podcast, number 140, Basic Greek Searches, before viewing this one. This podcast builds on the more basic information in it. Greek words and phrases. I'd like to pick up here where the last podcast left off with some further information about searching for Greek words. Up first is more information on searching with Greek tags. We can search for words with specific tags with or without attaching them to a specific lexeme with the at sign. Selecting a grammatical tag opens a dialog box where we can further refine the search. We can select from any of these drop-down menus, use the shift key to add more than one choice, and check the not box if we want any result but that choice. When we select a syntax tag, Accordance enters it immediately because none of the tags in this particular database have subtypes. If and when we add other syntactical databases, selecting one may well bring up a dialog box, just as the grammatical tags currently do. Let me also include a tip here about searches combining grammatical and syntactical tags. An at sign needs to be added after each separate criterion. Accordance will add the first one after the lexeme automatically. We must add the second one manually. There are times when we'd like to see how another text uses a word or phrase. Right-clicking to search in is an easy shortcut to do so. We can even use several different keyboard combinations to tune our search. A simple click will search for the lexeme. Option or Alt click will search for the inflected word. Shift plus Option or Alt plus click will search for the root. If we've selected a phrase, we can also use Shift-Click to run a fuzzy search. We can also access Search In directly from the Analysis pane, where we have the option of choosing any one of the forms for our search. When we do, it includes all the sort criteria above it. Remember, setting our display settings properly is really important on the Analysis pane. Just use the Settings button and choose Customize Display. There, we can make our sorts and displays as precise as anyone could hope for. Note that the individual columns allow for different sorts for every word in a phrase or construct search. We can also use many of the more advanced search commands in our Greek searches, but there are just too many to review now. Here's a list of the most relevant ones, a brief description, and the podcasts that cover them. Now, these podcasts aren't specifically about Greek, but the same principles will work with Greek searches or searches in any other language. I've also included an older cast on Greek construct searches, even though it's scheduled for replacement this summer. All of these episodes can be found at the link shown at the bottom of this page. Greek Tools Accordance offers 18 different Greek lexicons, word books, and dictionaries, plus seven more mini-lexicons of the sort that are often included at the back of the various editions of the Greek New Testament. We also currently offer a dozen different Greek grammars for sale, as well as six different apparatuses for the Greek New Testament and four for the Septuagint. The advanced search techniques in this episode will also search these tools efficiently. Greek tools include a number of different kinds of resources, Greek lexicons, Greek grammars, specialized Greek studies, and even the occasional Greek dictionary or word book. If we've added the Greek Tools button to our toolbar, we can click it and see just these tools organized by category. There are two ways to look for information in these tools. The first is to search them directly. We do this by opening a tool and entering the search criteria directly into its search entry box. The second method, called amplifying, is to select a word, then click on a resource to look for more information. Each of these two methods has its advantages. 
First, let's see how Greek tools are constructed, then we'll take a closer look at both of them. All of Accordance's Greek tools have been optimized for efficient searching. One way we've done this is to use multiple data fields, and understanding these data fields will make our searches more productive. First, every word in a tool is assigned to a specific data field, then each data field is pre-indexed. This process is part of the reason searches in Accordance are so very fast and part of the reason why our resources are sometimes a bit more expensive than others. This copy of BDAG, for instance, has 12 different data fields. We can see them by clicking this button, which also allows us to select which field to search. We can also add fields to our search using this button, and select how we'd like them to interact. One common use of the second field is to search for articles that also mention a specific verse reference. Consider this article for Charis. The main word is in the Greek entry field, while the rest of the Greek is in the Greek content field. The English definition is here, while well, this is the English gloss, and here are the scripture references. All those other words that are underlined in green, they're hypertext links, some to extra biblical references, some to bibliographic references, and so on. Now, there are more fields here, but I think I've made my point. There's a lot that goes into a Greek tool that isn't visible at first glance. Second, unlike our Greek texts, none of the Greek words and tools are tagged. It's not possible to use Accordance's lexeme, root, or grammatical tag searches in one. That means that every search in them uses character strings, what we call inflected forms in Accordance. When we want to search Greek entries, we simply spell the lexeme form. When we search Greek content, we use the inflected spelling of whatever specific form we're investigating. Searches in both ignore accents, breathing marks, capitalizations, and final forms. So how do we use this information to improve our searches in Greek tools? Here are four examples of efficient searches. First, search the Greek entry field with the lexeme spelling for the major article on any Greek word. Next, Search the Greek content field with an inflected form for all the articles that include it. Third, search the English definition field with an English word for all Greek words translated to it. And fourth, search the scripture field for all articles with a specific verse reference. Or, add this extra field to any search and use the AND to limit hits to those that also cite this passage. So how is amplifying to a Greek tool different from simply searching one. In two ways, actually. In technique and in results. We've already seen one example of the technique, selecting a word and amplifying to a Greek tool in the library. Now, we can use the Amplify menu instead, or the Amplify icon on the toolbar, or Greek tools on the toolbar if we've added it. Beginning with Accordance 11.2, Mac users can also drag and drop any folder or individual resource onto the toolbar, like I've done with BDAG here. Windows users, we're still hard at work programming that feature for you. We can also use several different modifiers when amplifying, if the resource supports it. The same keyboard modifiers that we covered earlier. Click searches for a lexeme. In a tool, it just searches for the lexeme with that inflected form. In a text, it performs a regular lexeme search. Pressing Option or Alt plus click searches for the inflected form in either a text or a tool. Pressing Shift plus Option or Alt plus click searches for roots in text and the root spelling in tools, and selecting a phrase and shift clicking performs a fuzzy search for phrases, though this only works in text. What's different about Amplify results? First, remember how we had to choose the correct data field to search directly for a word? We don't need to do that when amplifying to a Greek tool. In this case, Accordance drills down through all the relevant fields until it finds a hit. It then lists the hits in that field. If it finds one in Greek entry, it stops there. If it doesn't, it moves to Greek content automatically. Next, Accordance gives us the option to include the verse reference in our search we can set it in our Amplify Preferences here. Notice that we can switch its behavior anytime just by holding down the Shift key. What that means is that we don't have to manually add the Scripture data field and type in the verse reference. Accordance will do it automatically 
if we want it to. This one-two combo, selecting and drilling through data fields, plus adding and filling out the scripture field automatically, makes Amplify far more efficient than a simple search. It's ideal for those who are exegeting a Greek passage. Let's put it all together. Here's what an Amplify from a text looks like. Notice that I amplified from a second imperative form, but since I use no keyboard modifiers, Accordance automatically searched for the lexeme. I also used the Add Scripture option, so Accordance found both the word and its first reference. This sort of responsiveness makes original language exegesis painless. Greek research. Finally, there are times when we need every bit of data we can lay our hands on. The research feature in Accordance is ideal for those times. It's a powerful global search. It scans every relevant data field for English, Greek, Hebrew, Syriac, verse references, images, or Unicode. It searches every resource in Accordance or any subset of resources. The global searches include all, all texts, all tools, and graphic tools. In addition, we can search all resources in a custom My Groups folder or all the resources in any library category folder. With Greek searches, it combines the power of a lexeme, inflected, or root search in tag text with a character string of Greek tools. It's usually easiest to use the contextual menu to access research. For instance, selecting Agapa and selecting Research All gives us these results. I didn't use any modifier keys, so Accordance automatically did a lexeme search of all the Greek texts, as we can see from the results here. If I scroll down to the section with Greek tools, we can see it searched both the Greek entry and the Greek content fields of every resource. Root searches work similarly. Research is also available under the Amplify menu and under the Amplify toolbar icon. I trust these advanced search techniques will be helpful, though the very best way to improve our search skills is to practice. Accordance makes original language searches so easy and fast it encourages creativity. We don't need to be afraid to ask questions like, I wonder if, or what about, and where else? These sorts of impulsive side trips can result in some amazing insights. As always, this has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.